Hey everyone, welcome back to TK's Tech Talk. Yep, you guessed it, Trusty Kitchen Knife is back for another unboxing video. It's gonna be a quick one. I, don't, I know most people know what an external drive looks like. I just recently, well, just arrived today, a Seagate 5TB One Touch. So I believe this actually replaces um, the Backup Plus series, which was available before. I'm not sure if they're different. I'm not sure what the difference is, but I've got a four terabyte version as well. So I just wanted to show you that box to, so you can see the difference. So in case you're interested, that's the Backup Plus and that's the One Touch. I'm not sure what the difference is, but looking around the box, they're more or less uh, the same sort of drives. Here, pictures and everything is the same. I think it's just rebranded uh, to come in line with the other One Touch series that they have, the smaller and thinner versions, and maybe they've just decided to rebrand it as One Touch for your backup and things like that. So not much to see around the box, obviously. Let's just quickly open this up. The reason why I bought this drive, I've actually got a matching five terabyte drive. When I say matching, I'll show you in a moment what it looks like. But let's just have a look what's inside the box first. And let's get rid of all of the bedtime reading straight away. Looks like it's got some free software with it, but I'm not too bothered about that. My actual plan is to open up this drive and use it inside my enclosure, which you may already have seen. So what do we have inside? We have a USB 3 micro B cable to type A. And obviously we have the black drive. So if anybody who's interested, I bought this from Amazon for 379 dirhams, which seems to be a fairly reasonable price at the moment. So let's open up the drive and take it out. And I have to say it looks exactly the same as the four terabyte backup plus. So let's have a look at that quickly. So I've actually got it here to hand. So I'm going to show you all three different types of drives that you can get, right? So this is the four terabyte backup plus. Doesn't it look exactly the same? Right, it looks exactly the same. And then there's a third drive, which is the expansion version. Now this one doesn't have the extra years warranty or some extra protection service. I, I don't know exactly know what it is. As far as I know, the drives inside are more or less the same. So this is actually a five terabyte expansion. Might look a bit nicer in the UK. I think you can, maybe in the US you can get an Amazon edition, which is a pitch black, uh, all black plastic version. And you can see here it's called portable expansion drive. However, essentially inside they should be more or less the same. So this is a four TB. These are both five TBs. And what I plan to do is, let's get rid of this one for now, is to take these two, take them out of the casing and put them into this thing here. So you may already have seen uh, another video of mine which describes this. This is actually a two bay raid enclosure. So let me just quickly open this up. I've got the screws off, off. So I can put two drives in here. So originally this comes with a much thinner case. I bought the thicker plates so that it will enable me to use the 15 millimeter drives that come inside. Sorry, that, yeah, that come inside these casings, right? So essentially the standard SATA drives, which can be removed to put into an enclosure or into your PC or whatever you want. So I obviously plan to use it inside this enclosure in the RAID 1 configuration to try and protect my data a little bit better. I'm not saying it's the best protection ever, but that's the aim there. So what I'm gonna do now is, let me just pause the video. Let me have a look around this drive. I'm gonna show you how you go about opening one of these drives, if I can work it out. And if I can't, I'll have to leave it for another video but I'll be right back in a moment. Okay, so I'm having a fun time trying to work out how to open this drive. So usually I think what, it, what we need to do is there's a line just along this edge here, which should separate away and expose the drive. And I believe that is along this side of the case because that's where we have another separation. Sorry, missed the camera there. We have another separation. So I'm, I believe that's how we do it. Uh, having fun with that right now, I can't work that out. So what, we, what I'll do for now is while we're here, Let's at least have a look at the expansion, right? So how do we open this up now? I just realized I've got a dent on there. It's obviously, obviously damaged it somewhere. But what you have to do, here you can see a lot more clearly. There's a gap there. If you can just about see that on the camera, I'm not sure there's a gap. So what you need to do is either use a knife or a prying tool. I would recommend to use a prying tool if you can. You might need to use a knife to get into there first. But we have to open along the entire edge. And this is the same procedure, even if you have the slimmer drive. So that's why I prefer these drives, to be honest. Um, the expansion plus, uh, sorry, expansion portable drives are very easy. So I'm just going to show you how to do this. Let me start with the edge that I seem to have damaged at some point somewhere, or maybe the plastic is just, so let's put that. So I put it into the edge there and I'm just going to slowly run it along 
and just wiggle a little bit so that we get the first clip. So the aim is to release the clips, right? And remember, this does void your warranty. So if you're worried about things like that, don't do this at home. Um, and I think we can just about cut along this edge. Okay, just be very careful, obviously, if you're using a knife like I'm doing here. It might be a bit easier to use a pick because it will give you a thicker edge. Just try the back of the knife, see if that helps. Not having much luck. There we go. I think we heard the first crack. That could be the clips breaking as well, but anyway, that's something we have to accept when we do something like this, right? And we're going to open along this edge now. Again, be very careful when you're using, if you are using a knife like I am. I don't recommend using a knife. I just don't have a pry tool available right now. And I'm very impatient to get these drives into my uh, enclosure. So obviously now, once again, I just want to show you now, see this? So there's some clips along here. So what we have to do slowly is work our way around. Okay, so sorry if I keep losing the camera. I'm not actually paying attention to the screen here. I have to be honest. You can see some of the plastic coming away there. So we've got that far now. And let's try this edge. Oops, almost had an accident there. I'm using the back of the knife so it's a little bit safer. Okay, and go all the way around. See, I'm trying to be very careful, doing it very slowly. I know it's a bit mundane to watch, so if you want to skip this part, please feel free. And, and oh, there we go, we're almost there. So this procedure for anybody who doesn't know, open the case, a lot of people refer to it as shucking. You can do the same thing with a desktop hard drive as well. Um, I know that some people have been very lucky getting nice drives inside. And um, okay, so we're doing really well by the look of it. We're almost there. We're in, excellent. Now, one thing I wanna point out here, I've got a lot of broken clips, okay? Because I haven't taken enough care to do that. Now, I'm showing this to you because this can be very heartbreaking if you're planning to use the enclosure. By the way, the enclosure still works fine. I do use my other ones. They've all got cracked brackets. This seems to have a lot more than I would have expected, but I'm not too bothered. Like I said, my main aim is to use this inside the enclosure. Let's get rid of that knife. And so now what you can do is literally turn it upside down and take the drive out. And there we have it. This is our Seagate five terabyte SATA hard drive. So there's the connector on there. So I just want to show you around. It's got some blue rubber grommets for the screws, which I, we can, I can take that off later. It's not really important to take off now. I just want to show you what's inside here. So if we carefully peel this aluminum tape away. And remember, and my war warranty is now void, okay? Seagate's happy, they, I can't return this drive anymore. Right now, again, do it from all the way around. Once you get about there, you can peel off, you can just, not peel off, you can pull off slowly, gently, edge it away. And by the way, don't buy Western Digital Drives if you're planning to do this, okay? Do not buy Western Digital Drives if you're planning to do this. Right, let me grab a screwdriver and get rid of these screws and then I'll show you how it sits inside the enclosure because you can see, you can put it into your PC, it's a very nice thin drive actually, put it into your PC or into another enclosure which is what I'm going to do. So back in a moment. Right, so I'm back with my drive, all the screws have been removed as you can see and all we need to do now is I'm going to, I've got my, one of my bays off, plates off my enclosure. So all we need to do now is slide that in Oops, the bottom case came off there. And that's it. So now, because I've got the thicker plate, it should fit this drive without any problems. And we're in. So there we go. One drive's in, one to go. So give me a moment, let's see if I can work out how to open the other one and we'll open it together. Back in a moment. Right guys, uh, I'm back and I'm not really sure how to do this, but I have seen another video. Uh, someone's already posted, so you know you can check that. I'll try and find the video again. I've just literally closed it. But uh, maybe I can share that. I think it's a lot better than the way I'm about to use to open it myself. 
So apparently we have to work along the top, top edges here and that would expose the driveway. So we're going to attempt it. If it works good, if not, at least you can see it firsthand how I did it firsthand and maybe we can all learn from it. Right, so let's do this. So what we need to do, we need to insert the knife into the, one of these edges here and just lift. Oh, oh dear. The knife has broken. Now that's not a good sign. My trusty kitchen knife is no more and we're also let's carry on guys the knife broke inside it's not the end of trusty kitchen knife don't worry let's just carry on going okay see it see it looks like it's nicely pulling away to be honest apart from the broken knife it's uh, very easy to open you can go a couple of millimeters in apparently uh, not, don't go too far of course go all the way around slowly we will retrieve that piece of the of the trusty kitchen knife, don't worry, I promise you. Sorry if I keep losing the camera, I'm paying more attention to the uh, actual drive than I am. Okay, come on, we can do this, we can do this. Can I just pull it up now? Okay, let's try that in a moment. And, uh, let's try and do a bit more on this side, there we go, so just a little gentle push. So let's see if we can now, let's put the knife away slowly first. There you go, it looks like it just pulls off slowly. Let's have a look inside there, the edges. Okay, so we need a couple of more to go. So this actually looks a lot better made than the other one. So let's try and, let's try and just pry the last clip up. Does that work? Let's try from this side. Right. Let me have a look around and I'll come back in a second. Okay, so it looks like we can actually just pull this off. So I'm going to try that. Okay, let's see what happens. Good luck to me. Worst case scenario, I'll lose an enclosure. At least I'll have the drive out, which is my main aim and no warranty. So let's do this. And just pull, pull, pull. Oh, there we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? Very nice. Okay, so now, um, set the drive out. How do we take the drive out? So do we just... Uh, Maybe just, oh, there we go. The whole cover just comes off. I just clipped the whole thing off, guys. So I know you missed that on camera, but if you just put it far enough, it just comes off, okay? So now, let's try and get the drive out. Let me uh, get some, something to pry out with back in a moment. Okay, so if there's one thing we've definitely seen, it's that it's much harder to take this drive out. So the first thing is, there's a rubber tab here. So let's take the rubber tab out. So I've got a flathead screwdriver now. So I think I can just put, okay, we'll just pull it out. So it's just a rubber tab. It sits on top of the light, okay, it's not, not a big deal, we can get rid of that now. The question is, can we get this out without breaking the case? So, what I've seen some other people do is stick a screwdriver straight down here and lift it. Okay, so there we go, oh that actually wasn't too bad. Okay, we're going to try not to damage the driver, don't go too, put too much force in there, but that literally, I'm just pulling it out as you saw, okay, and everything's, and it's out. Right, there's some rubber, nice rubber protection in here. And the good thing is if we can keep it in one piece, we can use it in the future for other drives. Now, one nice thing is there's no screws. There's just little rubber grommets on there which hold inside and it's a very, very nice design. So we've got now this nice aluminum foil again on the outside. This time we've got lots of it. So let's just try and expose the connector. So I believe we can just peel this away from the side here. Okay, and let's just see how that works out. And once we peel it away, we should be able to see the uh, connector inside. So obviously I've completely damaged that one, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. We don't need it anyway. And um, so what I want, what I want, my main aim here is just to expose that connector, right? I don't plan to keep all this intact, so I'm not too bothered. Just don't want to damage any of the parts on the chip so that I can at least try and use it again in the future. And um, anyway, while I'm rambling on, guys, if you do like the content that I have and if you do find this useful, please feel free to subscribe and like my videos. It really does encourage me to continue making all sorts of weird and wonderful videos that you may already have seen, the PlayStation 5 videos, the new PC components that I'm currently putting. Well, it's already together. I just need to make another video so you guys can see that. And um, okay, so we're just gonna, so yeah, just 
please do help me by subscribing and liking my video so we've got this far this paper underneath let's get rid of all of that and this should also this should just now come off right there we go so now we can take the connector off i'm not going to bore you with taking all the tape off you've already seen this part before with the other drive it's more or less the same process and voila we have the standard sata connector so i think i'll do the rest of this i'm sure you can imagine the next step is to carry on and take it out and put it inside the enclosure so you all know how that's going to go and maybe i'll try and do another video around the enclosure and how the drives are configured inside once i'm able to get my data off my original 5 tb drive without losing it okay thanks for watching everyone and i if you have any questions please do feel free to ask uh, you know if you have and remember just try and remember warranty is gone Western digital drives have a proprietary connector on the end, so try to avoid those if you do plan to do something like I'm doing here. And apart from that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.